In September of 2019, we tested the new Sharrow prop on a 20-foot outboard boat. It had 150 horsepower Mercury outboard, and we compared the Sharrow prop's performance with standard props, and a lot has happened since then. In November 2021, we tested the pair of Sharrow props on a 32-foot catamaran. It was powered by twin Yamaha 300 horsepower engines. Then we tested the standard Yamaha Saltwater Series 2 props to benchmark the difference. The results were remarkable, as the boat with Sharrow props was faster at all RPM settings and more fuel efficient, sometimes incredibly so, at every RPM setting except one. Now, let's put the Sharrow props new technology into historical perspective. The first example of a rotating device moving water is Archimedes screw. It was invented around 250 BC. Its function was to raise water from one level to another and historically was used in field irrigation. At the dawn of steam engine driven ships in the 1820s, the first propulsion devices were used based on the 2000 year old screw concept. Here we can see representations of the first attempts to transfer the energy of steam engines to water. They did not work well. In 1836, a Frenchman by the name of Augustine Normand designed a four blade propeller. The same year, John Erickson invented a prop pretty much as we know it today. It was used on canal barges and on ships in the 1830s and onwards. So for the last 180 years, not much has basically changed in the world of propellers. Yes, there are cleaver props, surface piercing props, props with six, seven, and eight blades, variable pitch props, folding props, and others, but virtually all are variations of the props invented in 1836 but none of the new conventional prop designs have solved their greatest flaw. They simply don't advance through the water at the rate of their pitch. While it's rarely talked about, marine propellers are notoriously inefficient because of prop slippage. Every prop has a pitch, which is what carves its way forward and therefore moves the boat forward. In the image here, the prop pitch is 12 inches, which means that if it were moving through a solid, it would advance 12 inches with every 360 degree revolution. But in fact, propellers never reach their theoretical performance for a variety of reasons. The term propeller slip is the difference between the theoretical advance of the prop if it turned one revolution and its actual advance. In the case of the 21 pitch prop, it actually has an actual advance rate of 19 inches. This chart explains the second reason why Sharrow props make the boat go faster and at the same time provide more miles per gallon at most settings than standard props. In a nutshell, they simply advance the boat more inches on every revolution of the prop at all RPM settings over conventional props, even at wide open throttle. This chart shows you exactly how many inches the prop actually advanced at the indicated RPM settings with every 360 degree revolution of their props. At first, this may seem like rocket science, but it's actually quite easy to calculate and made even easier with the online slip calculators that are available. Let's take the most dramatic example of prop slip during our test, which was the standard prop at 3000 RPM. On the top, you can see we punched in the gear ratio, the pitch, the RPM, and our test speed, and voila! This prop, we discovered, was slipping 59%. In the second register, you can see that the Sharrow prop slipped 13% at 3000 RPM. At 3000 RPM, the Sharrow prop is advancing 13.37 inches for every revolution instead of its theoretical 15.4 inches, but that's 106% farther than the Yamaha prop's advance rate. This is the most dramatic difference between the two props and it occurs right at the beginning of the mid-range and helps explain why the Sharrow boat is solidly on plane and the standard prop isn't even close. At 4500 RPM, the Sharrow prop reaches its maximum efficiency where its advance is 14.3 inches for every revolution while the standard prop advances 12.48 inches. From there, the two differences tend to parallel each other as they make their way to top speed with the conventional prop never really closing the gap in efficiency. Given the performance observed between the two props, we at Botes can come to no other conclusion then the Sharrow prop is a giant leap forward of propeller technology. And that's yet another look and more proof of the revolutionary Sharrow propeller. But there's more to come and yet another reason why the Sharrow props perform better than the legacy technology. Stay tuned. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve and we'll see you on the water.